Welcome to Friday's English, everybody. Today we are learning how to use the ing suffix correctly in sentences. We need to follow the four spelling rules to be successful. Let's recap them. Number one. If the verb has one short vowel sound and then one consonant, double the consonant and then add ing. Look at the word hit. Hit has one short vowel sound and one consonant. That means we need to double the consonant and then add ing to make the word hitting. The darts are hitting the dartboard. The second rule says if the verb has one short vowel sound and then two consonants, just add ing. Look at the word click. Click has one short vowel sound and two consonants after it. That means we just need to add ing onto the end of the word to make clicking. The teacher is clicking the mouse. Rule number three. If the verb ends in e, drop the e and then add ing. Look at the word smoke. The word smoke ends in an e. That means we need to drop the e by getting rid of it and then we can add ing to make the word smoking. The chimney is smoking. Rule number four. If the verb has a long vowel sound, we just need to add ing. Look at the word sail. Sail has one long vowel sound in the middle, the a sound. That means we just need to add ing onto the end of the verb to make the new word sailing. The ship is sailing in the sea. Here is today's starter to warm up our brains ready for writing. Can you up-level my sentence? My sentence is very boring. The man had an umbrella. How could we improve this sentence? What could we add to it to make it better? Pause the video here, write your ideas down and come back when you're ready. Let's up level together. The man had an umbrella is a boring sentence, so let's improve it. How can we describe the man? What adjective could we use? The old man had an umbrella. What type of umbrella? How should we describe it? An orange, comma, spotty umbrella. Oh, that sounds better, you two. Okay, let's get rid of that full stop because I want to extend my sentence with a conjunction. I'm going to use the conjunction because. So why does the old man have an orange spotty umbrella? That's it, because it was raining, lightly or heavily? Heavily. Heavy rain like yesterday, full stop. Look how much better that sentence is. It's much more exciting than the blue one. Have a look at your sentence that you wrote down. Is yours much more exciting than the blue sentence? Great work, year two. Have a look at my picture. What action words can you see? What verbs are in the picture? Pause the video here and think of as many as you can. You might want to jot them down, or you might be able to store them all in your head. Come back when you're ready, and then you can tell the screen what you found.
Are you ready to tell the screen what action word you have found? Okay, ready, steady, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, pencils down. I hope you've got a huge list of verbs from the picture ready to share with me. Okay, what can I see in the picture? I can see flying birds and flying planes. I can also see a driving bus or maybe it's a coach. What else can I see? I can see people waiting for the bus or for the coach. I can see floating clouds in the sky. I can see the sun is shining, shining so brightly in the sky. What else can I see? What other action verbs? Oh, there's a little boy climbing the ladder and there's somebody cycling or riding their bike. I can see someone jogging along the pavement. What other action words can I see? Oh, someone's hanging upside down over there. Hanging is a verb. I can see some a little cat walking on the tree house. What other verbs can I spot in that picture? I can see those dogs. Are they boxing? Looks like they're boxing. What other verbs can I see in their picture? Oh, someone's painting at the front here. A beautiful picture. I can see that lady. She is carrying lots of presents. Maybe she's going to the post box. What other verbs can I see in my picture? I can see some children kicking a ball. Kicking is a verb. What else can I see in the picture? Oh, look, that little baby is crying. Crying is a verb. That's an action. I can see somebody running. That's a verb, running on the path. And that man, he's working in the park. What a nice place to work. What else can I see? What other action verbs? I can see a man lying down in the middle there. And I can see somebody eating a picnic. That's an action word. I can see a man swimming and some swans are swimming. And I can see some people who are sitting on the bench. Are there any more that I have missed in that picture? Let me have one last little look through the picture. She is reading and he is playing. And that man there, he's standing. And I think that dog is begging. And there's a postman posting. That's also a verb. And oh look, there's some leaves there that are blowing, blowing in the wind. Okay, today's learning challenge year two is to use the suffix ing in our sentences. So we're going to be using our picture of all our action words, all our verbs, and we're going to write sentences about the picture. Now, I have put my picture on the screen so that you can see the picture as well as the writing. And when you do your work, you can have the picture either on the screen or you can print it out as well so that you can see the picture. Okay, I'm going to start with the girl who's over here. What's the verb that I'm going to be using? Sitting, well done. And I'm going to start my word, my sentence with the verb sitting. So there's my verb sit. Now sit has got one short vowel sound and it's got one consonant. So what do I need to do when I add the suffix ing on? Yes, I need to double the consonant and then add ing. Amazing, you two. So sitting under a tall, comma, mighty, because mighty is another word for strong, and I think trees are quite strong. Sitting under a tall, mighty tree is a girl. Now, I've left a space there because I'd like to use an adjective. What 
adjective could I use to describe the girl? Tell the screen now. Oh, they're really good ones, year two. I love them. I'm going to use the one pretty. So well done if you said that. Is a pretty girl. And what's the girl doing? What verb is she doing? She's reading. So let's write the verb read. And let's work out how we add ing. So in that word read, I've got a long vowel sound e. So what was the rule for long vowel sounds? That's it. We just add ing. And what is she reading, do you think? Reading a magazine. Mag -a -zine. Magazine. Full stop. Okay. Now, if we look above her head... What's that little boy doing? He's hanging, isn't he, from a treehouse. So there's my next sentence. Above, above her head is a little boy. Now, if that little boy is hanging from a treehouse... What adjective could we use to describe him? Have a think. What adjective could we use? What adjective could we use? Tell the screen now. Super ideas, year two. Brave. That's a fantastic one. Is a brave little boy hanging. So there's the verb hang. And hang has got one short vowel sound. And it's got two consonants. So what suffix rule do I need to follow when I'm adding my ing? Yes, we just need to add ing. Hanging from a treehouse. Now, year two, did you know the word treehouse is actually a compound word? Because it's made up of the words tree and house. Can you see that? I love compound words year two. I can't wait to teach you all about those. Okay, next sentence. The. I want to describe the sun. Let's move my picture over slightly. There we go. The sun. Can you think of three adjectives to describe the sun? Have a think. Look at the sun, how can I describe it? Have a think, think, think. Okay, tell the screen now. Brilliant adjectives. The bright, comma, hot, comma, yellow sun is shining. So the verb is shine. So that's how I write the word shine. So what is the rule for adding ing onto the word shine? Well, it ends in an e. So what do we need to do? Yes, brilliant. We need to drop the e and we need to add ing. Amazing. The bright, hot, yellow sun is shining high in the sky. But what type of sky? What colour is the sky? Yes, it's blue, isn't it? In the blue sky. Let's use a conjunction. And there are... Okay, can you help me describe the clouds? Can you think of two adjectives now to describe the clouds? Have a look at them. How could we describe those clouds? Tell me now. Fantastic ideas, you two. There are white, comma, fluffy clouds. 
and the clouds are floating. So there's my verb float. So what's the rule for adding ing onto float? Well, we've got one long vowel sound and one consonant. So what do we need to do? Yes, we just add ing. Floating in the sky. Okay, let's read it through just to make sure we're happy with it and it makes sense. Sitting under a tall mighty tree is a pretty girl reading a magazine. Above her head is a brave little boy hanging from a tree house. The bright hot yellow sun is shining high in the blue sky and there are white fluffy clouds floating in the sky. Now I'm going to change this last bit year two because we've already said about the sky up here. Okay, up here we said it, look. So let's, what can we have instead? The bright hot yellow sun is shining high in the blue sky and there are white fluffy clouds floating by. Super duper stuff. Thank you for helping me year two. Your learning challenge today year two is to use the ing suffix correctly in sentences. So what you will find underneath this video is a picture, a verb picture, just like the one you can see on the screen. And what I would like you to do with your picture is write me a fantastic descriptive piece of writing using lots of ing verbs in your writing. Now, if you want to use this park picture, what you could do is pause your video on this screen here so that you can magpie lots of these verbs and put them into your writing. You can also pause on this screen and magpie one of these sentences because we worked on this together and that's what we do in class. Or if you fancy a challenge, what I will do is link another picture below the video that we haven't looked at today. And you can collect your own verbs and then do your own descriptive piece of writing. I know you're going to do super duper well with this piece of work because you are amazing writers in year two. Have a great day year two and I will see you all very soon. Bye.